Welcome to the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast, episode 118. Uh, here I am, still working away. Uh, and by working away, I mean literally, I'm not home. I'm not in the set, I'm not in the studio. You know, I don't have to tell you. Because uh, you've seen the last two episodes. Well, you didn't, because no one did. So, yeah. Scroop my nuples. Still don't know how long I'm going to be here. Uh, I have no idea. Can't say. But it's, uh, I don't know. Just like all the, I've done this lots, working away. I never like it. But when I do it, it's always extreme anxiety the first, like, three days. And then, of course, the days leading up to it. But then once you get into a routine, it's a little bit better. Still doesn't mean it's what I want. But, uh, you know, you just do it and get it over with. And I cannot wait to get back into the proper set and have proper things to talk about. And like I said in the last episode, I, uh, I recorded this. I recorded it, and I didn't bring my fucking cable to upload the shit to my computer. So it's just sit, the footage is just sitting on the camera. But whatever. Um, I can't even remember what I needed to talk about because it's all written on my phone, and I'm gonna have to use my phone to record. Unfortunately. Um. I just want to talk about, well, let's, let's talk about Area 51 here. I touched on it a little bit. Whoopsie daisies. Area 51. Yeah, as you know, the, the people stormed it. Not really. There was like, uh, I don't know, three million, two, two, there's at least one million. I can't remember. Millions of people signed up on the page, and of course, only like 20 people showed up, which is completely expected. Um, but I thought that there was going to be some sort of prog process, progress. They really didn't do anything. They just went in there. Why isn't this connecting? My goddamn hard drive is being a bitch right now. Uh, they they just went there, stood around, and hung a bunch of signs out. You know, and Ethan, his brother, went there and uh, interviewed some people. I'm about to watch that soon here, but I want to get this done first. Because I don't have a lot of time here, you know. We get back at around 6, and then you gotta go eat, and then you gotta go shower. And so by the time you get back, it's like, to your room, I mean, it's like close to 8 o'clock. So, there is little to no time to do anything. But that's fine, you do what you can, I guess. Uh... Yeah, I'm curious to see what uh, what Ethan's going to be talking about, touching on here. If you go to the interwebs, the Schminterfebs, yeah, that's, that's Ethan's brother, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's what he said. His brother was going there. I don't remember. My fucking hard drive won't connect. being stupid. Oh wait, I think it's connected now. Where was I? I want to talk about Brooke Hoots for a second. Houts. I'm talking about everything I talked about the last episode because I didn't get to fucking fully record it. 
uh, she, you know, she put out her video apologizing and, you know, every, everyone has to do this now where they get in a controversial setting, situation. They have to come out and explain why they did it wrong and explain how they're going to fix themselves. And you know what? In certain circumstances, it's necessary, but for Brooks, I don't think so. You know? Yeah, she hit her dog and spit on it, but that fucking dog didn't even care. Like, it, it, she didn't... That wasn't a big deal, you know? If she really hurt the dog, there we go, it's connected now. If she really hurt the dog, you would know, and it would be, a, it would be different, and she would know. You can tell she's like, she's a good person, you know? It was just, I keep saying you know, I gotta quit saying that. She, she didn't mean harm, okay? It, she, you know, everyone gets worked up. I said it again. You know, you know, you know. Quit saying it. People get worked up. And she got worked up. And it got the best of her. It happens to fucking everyone. And if you can't say that it hasn't ever happened to you, then you're a fucking idiot and you're a liar. Because everyone still, no matter what, they just cannot stand the fact that she did what she did. And it's not even a fucking big deal. But people take things so out of goddamn context. And they, they're they so fucking sensitive now. It's unbelievable. I don't like it. We need to realize that... These things... Are not as bad as they seem. It's one circumstance. We all get caught off guard. She got caught off guard. If she didn't film it, you would have never known it happened. And you would have seen the relationship between her and her dog is fine. I got shit in my eye. I'm not crying again. <laughs> oh. I really was considering not uploading that episode. I really wasn't. Because it was fucking, I don't know. Because people are gonna watch it and they're gonna be like, what is wrong with this, with this little asshole? Why is he crying? It's not that bad and it isn't, but it just fucking, situations like this get the best of me every finagling time. And I was like, you know what? I filmed it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna upload it. Who cares? It's not a big deal, right? Just embrace it, and it's gonna go down in history as one of those episodes. Also, I'm, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I'm using my laptop to edit, which doesn't have Photoshop, so I got to use GIMP, which is a free photo editing program and I don't know a lot I don't know anything about it so I'm still trying to figure it out so the thumbnails look shitty the uh, the number up in the top left corner is this the top left or is this the top left I don't know I think it's up here right because if I don't fucking know maybe it is over here who knows? I mean, the number's still there, the same font. I can put the drop shadow in, but I haven't figured out how to get the white border around it, and then, I don't know, I'll work a little bit more at it. I, I'm sure I can figure it out. And um, what the fuck else can I talk about? What's going on on Twitter? What's trending? Impeach Trump isn't trending anymore. Gobbledygook. 
Gobbly gook. I've got some gook for you. Am I allowed to say that word? Gobbly gook. Can you say that? Is that one of those things that's forbidden? What did I retweet? Usually I can look at what I retweeted. Oh, the new Joker movie is coming out. Oh, and... Uh, what is it? Fucking, 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 uh, up next, up next, up next. Up next. <laughs> what was I gonna say? Oh, yeah, right here, Aaron Paul. The fuck, the Breaking Bad movie. It's coming out. I can't remember when though, I think the 10th of October. Oh right, here's the other thing. Greta, what is her name? Thunberg or some shit, the, the, the girl who is protesting climate change. She's trending, everyone's talking about her. I really, I'm really enjoying the fact that people are, you know, really, really pushing towards um, uh, preventing climate change. I want to move away. From, I, I got to be careful saying this because I don't know if people can hear me, but uh, I definitely want to move away from oil. Why not? Right? Like, why not? I mean, I know nothing. And I know lots of people who would s try to prove me wrong and, and say shit like, oh, I know exactly why we shouldn't do that. And they'll give plenty of reasons. But I'm no authority on this. I just, uh... I th you know, why should we have to rely on that? We figured out an alternative energy source. So why not uh, take advantage of it, right? Fuck money. <laughs> really though. It's always, whenever there's a massive change in the world, people always, first thing they go to is that's gonna cost too much. Bloggity bloogity. We can't afford it. Where that money gonna come? Blah. Why? Why do we have to create this society that strictly relies on money? Why can't we just build the shit? You know? I gotta quit saying that, man. How often do I say that? I don't even know. You know? <laughs> I got a snack pack. It's tapioca. I love tapioca. What I usually do when I'm here, because the food is free, there's all kinds of snacks to pick from. I usually stock up. But I can't, really. Because uh, I didn't bring... Or maybe I can, because, oh yeah, because I was going to say I didn't bring an extra bag, and my bag is packed solid. But I have a laundry bag. So when I fill my laundry bag up with my laundry, that'll leave my regular bag available for food. Oh, now that's a good idea. I should start stocking up. That's what I'm going to do. Right? Take advantage of the situation you're in. If there's food, steal it all. <laughs> it's not stealing, it's there for the taking. And if no one takes it, it gets thrown in the garbage anyway. Here I am, Mr. Playboy Universe. Again, I can't talk as loud as I'd like to. 
because I don't want people to hear me. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, folks. Oh man, I got a lot of shit to watch. There's a Valley cast as well. A Gus Johnson video that's 12 minutes and 53 seconds. There's a congratulations podcast episode. Damn, man. And then on top of that, the H3, which is number one. That one's got to no matter what, I gotta watch the H3 one. So you know what? Like I said, I'm just, at least I'm getting these podcasts done and continue going. But I can't make them as long as I'd like to. Because not only, I gotta get up early and then we come back late. So, it's not even 8 o'clock yet and it's dark. <clears throat> that is a terrible sign of winter. Winter's right here. I didn't bring enough warm clothes. So I'm gonna freeze. Like a freezy. Anyway. That's it for this episode of the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell notification. And uh, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see you in the next one. Alright, goodbye. No, there's no sound bites, no microphone. No, nothing.